Hold out 530, a new study is underway in L.A. that could help slow the spread of coronavirus. City of L.A. has teamed up with the county and USC on a pilot program for a rapid coronavirus test. CBS 2's Jasmine Veal has more on what the mayor says could be a game changer in the fight against COVID-19. This pilot program is trying to determine the best way to use these inexpensive tests to get people back to work and school faster. And local firefighters are the very first to test it out. Can you answer two questions? Can you test it really? Yes. No. Continue. About 750 Los Angeles firefighters are signed up right now to be among the first in the country to try out rapid COVID-19 antigen testing as part of a pilot study in the city. The speed would be would be nice. I know so many family members that waited five, seven days, and by that time, but it does, the information doesn't matter too much <laughs> after a week. These frontline workers will help determine if the 15 minute self administered nasal swab test should be rolled out city and countywide. Hold still as it counts down to scan. An app with image recognition technology is used with the nasal swab and testing kit to get the results at a fraction of the cost. Just $5 compared to $100 or more a piece for the current PCR test. Launching this rapid antigen testing pilot is a remarkable milestone. LA Mayor Eric Garcetti also tried out the test today. He and county officials say it will help identify positive cases much sooner and reduce the risk of transmission. Today boiled down is about making sure we can test people more quickly in a way that will allow us to be able to develop protocols to hopefully put even more people back to work, back into schools, and to keep our recovery path moving forward. Self-testing or testing at home can be a game changer. It can dramatically improve access to testing. It can move testing out of hospitals and clinics. These firefighters once again stepping up to help on the front lines of this pandemic. So the second phase will begin in about a week, and it's going to look at the accuracy of these rapid tests in screening school children and also use volunteers at drive-through testing sites. Here in the newsroom, Jasmine Veal, CBS 2 News.